Greetings, everyone. My name is Anjali Ezilo. I am the CEO and founder of Greening Youth Foundation. So excited to be with you today to share some updates on Greening Youth Foundation in our June newsletter. The first thing that I would love to share um, information about is our bridge project. Where do we start with that? May 11th and May 12th, we had our inaugural pilot program. It was called the Bridge Project Event. This was a collaboration between Greening Youth Foundation and SAWS, the Nature Conservancy, uh, Turner Foundation, Dobbs Foundation, and many others. And it was basically a two-day hiring event, um, but with a learning layer and so much more. Um, we had about 680 attendees, 265 qualified candidates applied, 150 candidates were invited to be a part of the cohort, 75 of them had interviews. And when I tell you that the 56 organizations and companies that signed up to be a part of this program were battling it out for these um, qualified candidates, you would be blown away when you hear the, the results that we're gonna be sharing soon. I mean, it really was a, a game changer. I feel that there was a, a, a shifting of paradigm and I'm just so excited and all of our partners are as well. So. We really see this moving further, scaling up, scaling deep, and scaling out. So we're so excited about that. And then another exciting program that I want to share with you is our International Fellowship Program. This is a program that we're doing with Grawl Family Foundation. We have, I believe, five brilliant candidates that are going to be moving forward with this program. And they're going to be working with an organization called SUBOC in London. And we're just really excited and we can't wait to share details about it. So thank you to the Grawald Family Foundation for um, sharing in this vision of connecting young adults here all over the globe with the focus on sustainable diversity. And then we have another cool program called our Road Trip Nation. This one came to us via Cisco Foundation and they shared with us this opportunity to work with another grantee of theirs called Road Trip Nation. And basically what this is, is a four week or a four segment course in environmentalism and conservation jobs. So in other words, if you're a candidate or you're, you're somebody that's interested in going into the environmental field and you don't know where to start, um, maybe you have interest in it, but what do you do with it? What are the jobs that even exist? This is the course for you. And guess what? It's free. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you guys so much over at Road Trip Nation as well as Cisco. And then this is the thing that my next thing that I talk about just gives me goosebumps. It's our work in Africa. And this is spearheaded by our chief strategy officer and CEO over there um, in West Africa, James Ezilo. But this work is so, so important to us because as we all know, we're, we're one people, you know, so we're really important. It's really important to connect young people, but also people who are really working on environmental issues all across the globe, particularly in Africa, which in a lot of these countries, they are on the front lines of experiencing climate change. So we really want to share um, career opportunities with them, as well as um, just information that they need for their resiliency. Um, but we're working on, we're working with the, the Nigeria Conservation Foundation, as well as a Ministry of the Environment for the country of Nigeria. And we're working on this 1000 solar technician program, um, a reforestation program, green infrastructure and so forth. There's so much over there. So please stay tuned and get involved if you can. Um, and then lastly, I would really like to thank our partners. None of this work would be possible without partners like REI, Patagonia, Georgia Power, Grawald Foundation, The Solutions Project, Columbia Sportswear, Nemo Equipment, Cox Enterprises, and Moose Jaw, and many more. Um, and just a major donor shout out, um, Kate Strader and Laura Calan Calangela. I, I'm sorry, Laura, I know your name. I have your book. Love the book, by the way. Um, but just uh, one last note that I'd like to share is that um, we have been doing our legacy camp out now for 10 years. This is a partnership with the Martin Luther King uh, Historic Park, National Park here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we have been working with Judy Forte and her team over there to bring um, outdoor camping experiences to diverse young people that live in the Metro Atlanta area. 
Now, the last year, the last last year, yes, we had to make it um, virtual, of course, because of COVID. But you know what? We were kind of like, should we still do it? You know, maybe not. Like, well, people are used to be coming to the park and actually camping out. And that's where we provide like hot dogs and hamburgers and s'mores. We have people come talk to them. They have movie night. Then they do service. It's so much stuff that happens there on site. So our development director, Renee, also, we were like, can we pull this off and do it virtually? Guess what? We did. It was amazing. And instead of just reaching the young people in Atlanta, Metro Atlanta, we were now able to take this thing global. So we had young people from all over the world um, kind of signing in and camping out on their back porches and their living rooms and their apartments, you know, back, back, um, backyards, the whole nine. So we're going to be doing that again this year. So stay tuned because we are really excited about some of the partners that are on board. And that happens in September. Lastly, about that bridge project. So the second part of the bridge project will be happening in September because we have so many of our federal partners that didn't have an opportunity to post all the jobs that they have. So stay tuned for that. And lastly, I would just like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our supporters out there and see you next month. Bye.